Welcome to Jordy's Rocketry. This is my first YouTube video. Uh, please click subscribe and like and click the bell for uh, updates. Alright, uh, I've had a lot of people request um, information on how to build the uh, Jordy's Rocketry uh, SpaceX Starship model. Um, you can see the model kit itself is not the full tubes and all that. You have to buy those from um, common rocket store parts. But the fins are part of the kit. The engine bulkhead. An additional bulkhead that's inside the rocket. And then you do need to buy the stuffer tube that goes between the engine bulkhead and the top bulkhead. The grid fins are part of the kit and then you get a nose uh, starship print and a tail starship print that has to be glued together in the middle it's fairly light um, the engine bulkhead looks kinda like that the upper bulkhead is just kind of a 3d printed bulkhead like that the stuffer tube if you can see down in the middle of that kinda has a foil see if I can get it to, has a foil in there to kind of help prevent the when the engine uh, parachute charge fires it doesn't burn the inside of the tube as bad so on the stuffer tube the bulkhead's going to basically be glued on the end and I generally use these little screw-on rings and glue that over the top so that the bulkhead kind of resembles that Let me get a little closer and then about 14 inches from the edge of the bulkhead I cut the stuffer tube and glue on the upper bulkhead and then that sits inside the rocket and that also you can see that it gives you about that much space for in my case I've got it set up for two parachutes um, you'll notice that the actual top of the starship has a Kevlar line that's actually glued into the top of it and then that line, instead of a shock cord, it's just a line that goes along the side. And then you pack the chute underneath it and stick it in the top of the tube. So when, when the parachute, when the charge fires, the, the actual starship separates, comes down and basically the parachute brings it down and lands it kind of like on its bottom. Or usually it just kind of crashes. So that's the way I do that. Obviously, these are custom, these are parts for a kid, and you can do whatever you want customized. The grid fins, they're little 3D printed parts with like the little ring on them, and they just basically glue on to the top of the tube. Uh, the fins themselves are six of them, uh, and they just basically uh, glue on. A lot of times, I use the cross on my mat to to well to glue on the first two, and then I'll rotate them. Um, I forget the degrees, but basically I use the cross hatch to put two on and then two on and then two on. And then the, the top tube, I have just your regular, you know, glued in shock cord holder, short piece of shock cord, and then a parachute. So when the top comes off and deploys, this bottom tube also has a chute that deploys. Um, that's pretty much it. So things that are not included in the kit are the launch lug, the BT-70 body tube. That needs to be in the ballpark of about 20 inches tall. Stuffer tube inside needs to be 14 inches long. And that's pretty much the parts you need. Oh, if you buy one of the, the little rings with the screw on ball, the engine block bulkhead. Uh, one of the tricks I've learned on those is you take a little bit of the stuffer tube, peel that foil out, and then use wood glue to just cut a little bitty ring on the bottom and glue it onto the D-engine. And that way when it sits in there, that little piece of paper, see how it holds there? And then you screw the cap on there and then basically that engine's, you can use a, a regular Estes D-engine in that kind of a ring bulkhead situation. All right, well, that's uh, 
Geordi's workbench for Geordi's rocketry for the Starship, uh, SpaceX Starship uh, model rocket build.